for the, the bench, uh, you guys don't use the wave as much percentage-wise you accommodate the resistance. The, the accommodate resistance, that's all at the top. Gotcha. Like, you know, one set of chain 40, two set of chain 80, three set of chain 120. Yeah, perfect, great question, because you could run a wave like that. You know, first week, one set of chain, second week, two set of chain, third week, three set of chain, boom, out. Um, maybe you could go one set of chain and a choke mini band, and then two set of chains and a choke mini band. I like that. Tony Bologna, you just, you know, he's an 860 bencher. Tony says, choking that extra band, when you get up here, that extra choke, just you got to blast up through that, because you'll get lazy. That's bar deceleration I was talking about before. Everybody, you know, you think you got something, all of a sudden you don't have it. And you won't never push to the end. Fred Hetfield talked about accommodating resistance. I'm sure some of you know who Fred was. Um, it's called CAT. And um, probably with accommodating resistance without bands or chains, no matter how hard you want to push with lightweight, you're pushing against nothing. It's like I said about throwing a wiffle ball through the window. You have to build a force. You have to put bands on there. And I, I don't want to do it, but I know he has done it. I'm sure you've done it. You can put enough band on that bar. When you stand up, you literally, it's buckling your knees. It's not like you're just, you, I don't care how much weight you put on, you can stand up with a thousand pounds. You put a thousand pound of bands on, it's driving you through the floor. Uh, just keep changing that resistance. See, change the same amount of weight, but get it to move at a different speed. Uh, in this book, uh, um, the, um, about professionals, what the hell's the name of that book I gave you? The Pablo's book, Beyond Professionals, right? He talks about he talks about a lot of coaches in there. I'm one of them, but he talks about a couple other. But uh, this Russian, and, and this is Paul Anderson's theory, and my theory is you've got to make exercises hard. The spatial exercise got to be hard. And then when you do the classical lifts, they'll become easy. Paul Anderson said it as simple as it could in 56. He goes, well, I'm doing all these heavy squats and, and heavy deadlifts and you know, heavy supports. How hard can Olympic lifting be? Well, he won the, you know, he's an Olympic world champion. I mean, he was just a freak of nature, but his concept is true. Make things hard. And when you actually, you know, when you pull, if you pull a bar five inches out in front of you, you put the bar where it belongs, it's easy. And there's all kinds of concepts you can use, right? I, a close grip bench will always make a wide go up. Wide will not make a close go up. And the wide is your, the close is your lockout. If you use bands and chains, um, one of our world record holder benchers years ago, Rob Fusioner, said, when you bench press, every time you take your fingers out two inches, like take 20 pounds off the bar. And it's absolutely true. So if you use a wide grip, you're not getting anything out of that stuff. The only way you could, you had to keep, you'd have to add weight. You know, every set, if you, when you get wide, you've got to add weight. You know, like you notice, I always start in tight with you guys. So at the, end, out the outside, where it's a little bit less range of motion, I can most of the time keep up. So you said you use typically three grips for the speed work? Yes. Um, is there a method to the grip you start with? Or do you just no, it doesn't matter. If you've got weak arms, I suggest you start close before they wear out. Now, I trained with a phenomenally strong guy years ago. He means 500 bench at 198, no shirt. Number 198 world. He's a professor at Ohio State. And, and as, as jacked up as this guy was, he's like two inches shorter than me and just, I mean, his hamstrings is here and, you know, like his triceps are going to fall off. He had, a hard, he had to always start close. His arms would give out. If he went wide and came in close, he, he, he had a hard time. <laughs> Hey, hey, Keith, wait a minute. Put your fingers on smooth. As long as that bar speed's good, you're good. How much can you bench though? 375. 375. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, Just well, you know, you use this. And I'll tell you how important speed benching is, even in a shirt. Um, years ago when I started this stuff in 1983, I broke my back, and I'm, I'm in my house for 17 weeks, can't do nothing. I, was, I came back, I got healthy, and I couldn't even bench. I started to bench and start trying this percent stuff and by the Soviets. And um, I, I, I used 425, now I'm not lying, 425 I did uh, eight sets of five with. I mean eight sets of three. My bench went nowhere. I dropped it down to 405, my bench went nowhere. 385, it went nowhere. I took it to 365 and went to meet and got, and I had a 523 uh, bench and I benched 530, finally got my bench rolling again, okay? But 365 for eight triples. There was no accommodating resistance. Kenny Patterson, two years later, Trained with 365 and meant 722, 728. That's basically 50%. I, if it, the percent says mine was 72, he went to 50. Well, I'm going, well, which percent am I going to use? 50. Like I said, box squats. You can use less weight and squat more weight than me. Why wouldn't you do that? Takes, you know, the training takes less out of you. You get a bigger result than me. And 
So that's how we formulated this bench training. And I watch guys like this. I watch guys, everybody. And it always, I've always calculated, like I did it off like Fred Bolt. You know, Fred can four press 475 and 181s. And Fred would train the bench at 205. It's roughly 40%. But just not him. I've got a lot of examples. You know, guys write like they know what they're doing. I can never write what I do. So what? And I couldn't write what he did. So what? But I can write what we do. And as a group, there's no group stronger. So how in the hell did it happen? Just why we applied science. You know, if your car breaks down, you better look at the manual. You know what I mean? Just don't go out and start staring at the motor. Just start tearing things. Look at the manual. Because that manual is a plan. So I'm going to miss this, but the, the weight on the bar plus accommodated resistance is the How much do you bench? 250. Uh, well, okay, we'll put 125 on the bar and add bench. Okay. And because that's going to sound so light to you. You're going to see later on, you're going to drop the weight, right? Psychological, say, what the hell, they're, they're screwing me up. I mean, I'll let you, you know, 50%. But you're going to see, you'll probably drop it down. You'll want to go up away, but you've got to move it fast. If it's not moving fast, it's not dynamic effort, you're wasting time. Speed. <laughs> so fast down, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Like yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. three fast like that. Fast stop. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Jason Fry, the guy in the uh, neon yellow shirt over there, I, he's who I first started training with, like right before I came to Westside. I, he, and I did my speed work with him, and he used purple bands, the light bands, with like 225 on the bar for speed work. He would move it so fast. If you watched him from the side, his back would raise off the bench. It was like, his back would like this. You know, it, was, like it was unbelievable, yeah. He's, he's got the 770, or 725 at 181. Yeah. And if it, listen, if it's too fast, Put some more on the on the accommodating resistance, and just is, and you got to do dumbbells. One of the biggest mistakes in this gym, I can't get it. Do you agree? They're not strong enough in the bottom, because they're on bench shirts. So get it up to here. You got to get it up to there. So <clears> what we work the arms, and it's this muscle here. This means crap. It's called the lazy head. The lateral head is called the lazy head. Here's the ones that do anything. It's what knocks people out. Those you know extends stop. All right. So you want to? We'll show you how to do this. But uh, you've got to um, accommodate that resistance, work, work the, the close grip. I lost track of what the hell I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, just just resistance. Oh, just that resistance. Because see, at the top, you, gotta, you, you just can't float up there. you got to... And it teaches you like knockout punch. Just pow, pow. You, you can see the lateral head is highly developed, but the muscles that are connected to the elbow are not. Go ahead and do a bench. See how small he is at the elbow? Okay, here's, the, here's your bench, how wide you are at the elbow. Roll, 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 way back, way back, way back. Put pressure, pressure like you're getting arm bar. Now do it, now do it. Hey, right here. See, this, this is non-existent. As, as this would get bigger, you would be stronger. Roll, roll. See, you got the muscles, just never trained it. Roll back, roll back, roll back, put the pressure right here. Elbows in, pull your elbows in and go, go, go. See, you're, see you got, you're so muscular. You can see, see this? That gets bigger, you got a bigger bench. As this muscle grows, this head, his bench will go up. See, it's not, see, this is way dominant compared to that. That has to be the most dominant. All right? Uh, you know, women, I mean, you know, women actually don't have a lot of chest muscles, let's face it. you got to have really strong arms. Right. But uh, if, you got, if you use your pecs too much, you rip them right off. Right. They're, they're gone. That's why we emphasize so much um, arm work. Because you see a lot of shoulder injuries, a lot of pec injuries, but very seldom you see a tricep injury. The reason is people don't push their triceps. I mean, you know, I'll do 20, 25 reps in a tricep extension on the first set. I want to, I want to, want this thing to know what it's supposed to do. Makes sense? You got it fatigued. It already knows what I'm demanding upon it. Then you start working up.